In this video, I'd like to show how the Vision Gauge Digital Optical Comparator can easily be used to carry out measurements of features that are much larger than what the system can see at any one time, so larger than the system's field of view. Now the part that I've got on the system right now is an aircraft engine turbine blade. And at the bottom of this blade there is a groove. I'd like to measure the length of this groove from this end all the way to the other end, which is, of course, outside the optical field of view. This can be done very accurately and very easily, either in manual mode or completely automatically. Right now, I'll do it manually. The first thing is that the image isn't quite in focus. So I'm going to use the, tool's auto, the system's autofocus tool to get a properly focused image. Now the autofocus tool is asking me where exactly I'd like to focus. So I've indicated that I want to fo focus on this portion of the image, not on anything else. So I just clicked on two points here to define a region of interest, and the system is now autofocusing. All right, that's done, and I've got a very nice, crisp and clear Im image with very sharp edges. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a crosshair. This is the same thing I'd be doing with a traditional optical comparator. So now I've got my crosshair overlay. And then I want to measure the length of the groove. So I'm pressing the measure button on my overlay joystick, and then I'm using my stage joystick to move the part. So I'm moving to the other end of this groove. It's a three-speed joystick, so I've got slow, medium, and fast speeds, and I'll hone in using slow speed. There you go. And I'm at the other end of the groove, and now I just press on the measure button one more time, and my measured value is displayed here in my data group, data group number one, which is exactly where I told the software I wanted this measurement to go. The software also automatically computes statistics if I were to measure a number of grooves on different parts, for example. Um, it can also chart these results, everything else. Again, I've done this in a manual mode, but all this can be programmed as well to be carried out fully automatically. Thank you.